Welcome back 645 with election day tomorrow. Many of you are already talking about how relieved you'll be to put it behind us. Exactly. Between not knowing how it may go, sorting through misinformation. Let's be honest, it could be a lot. So our morning reporter TJ Anthony joins us live in studio with some tips to help you get a little bit of peace away from the polls. So break it down for us, bud. Look, let's just be real. With the elections, many people are on edge from Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. Red or blue, it's something so many people are talking about across the nation. So we want to ease your mind here at 13 WMAZ on this Mental Health Monday. I caught up with a therapist about tips to deal with Election Day jitters. I try to do my part. I try to vote. I be there for my community, for my country, obviously. Anaya Pierce is a Macon native. The upcoming elections have her feeling a certain way. Anxious anxious about the upcoming elections, honestly. There are warnings of possible violence related to the elections. And just last week, Nancy Pelosi's husband got attacked at their San Francisco home ahead of the 2022 elections. The home invader beat Paul Pelosi with a hammer, leaving him seriously injured. Investigators are still determining if the attack was politically motivated. A lot of times it can be kind of overwhelming because we can't control the election. We can do our part but we can't control it. So focus on what you can do, what you can control. Madison Norris is a licensed associate marriage and family therapist at the Family Counseling Center of Central Georgia. She says there's one place in particular that can really stir the pot and possibly your anxiety. Social media is a big thing uh, that can be very easily overwhelming. So take breaks if you feel like it's becoming too much. She also said acknowledge your emotions and if the vote doesn't go the way you want, accept what has happened because once we accept, we can move forward into what we can do next time. As for Pierce, she believes people should come together more and at least try to understand their view even if you don't agree. It should be more of like a, a joint effort. Even if we don't share the same opinions, it's good to stop for a minute and just listen to what other people have to say. And whether it's campaigning more in the future or encouraging more people to get out and vote, therapist Madison Norris says the results could give you a learning experience for what you can do next time. So Caitlin and Wani, hopefully that kind of eases all the stress that comes along with elections. I know it kind of does for me. What about for you all? Uh, definitely some good tips there. Of course, the best way to control what you can do is to get out and vote. Exactly. And you make your voice heard tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. all across the state.